Hi guys, this is Anderson from Old Earth and today we go into all the mandatory gears for UTA 100. So what I'm gonna do here today, I'm gonna give you guys some tips about the gear I usually carry myself. Uh, going through why I'm picking some of those gears. You also can go different gears if you like. So the reason I pick those gears, the three reasons. One, I go for the weight when I'm packing because I'm already gonna be carrying two liters of water, which is equal uh, two kilos. So I try to go as light as possible so to carry a light pack. So I go um, a weight, I go durability, and I also go for fitting. So I will make sure you get the right gear. So that's gonna fit well, I'm not gonna get blister, not gonna get like a bigger shoes or, you know what I mean? Okay, so what are you gonna start here? I'm running I'm here in front of the shoes, cause I'm gonna start the shoes. I usually, when I'm picking like a trail shoes, I go half size bigger. UTA has a lot of stairs, a lot of up and down hills. So you don't want to smash your toes. So you go for like a half size bigger. So you protect your toenails and then probably have a safe to run. So what I would recommend, I would go myself, I'll probably go for the Speedy Goat Hawkers or I would go for the North Face Endurers. Lots of cushioning, shoes which is not the lightest but provide you a nice support and also a good price range as well. Uh, I'm going to get the shoes so I can show you guys around. So you have the Speedy Gold, Speedy Gold 5 and the Endurers. So um, probably two good options to do like a 50 or 100 Ks. Uh, I mean, doing the 100 Ks today, but also the 50 Ks list is really similar to the 100 Ks. You're probably not gonna need a couple items, but we're going through the items in the 100 and then you check a 50 Ks list and pick the items from the 100 Ks list, if that makes sense. So first we have the Merino Long Thermo. I pick the Ice Breaker 175. It's a full, really light, the reason I pick, because the reason I pick those gears, I can also wear in the winter or in a different race. Most of the gear I have here, I have for over like two years now, and you probably spend a little bit more, but for durability, it's really worth to have that for long term. So the Merino Icebreaker 175, you can run, run in like a Queensland winter, and also take for like a Victoria or place which is a little bit colder. So there we go. Next, we have the thermal pants. I also pick the icy breaker. Uh, again, um, I don't have any commitment with any brand here today. I just want to bring out the best and uh, then it's up to you guys. Get some uh, information from here and pick your own gear. But we're going to go in through all the gears. So the pants, usually, I think the last two or three years, the pants was, you had to carry if you knew you would be finishing like over like 8 p.m. or something and if it was raining. So the last two or three years, you didn't have to carry the pants, but it's also it's good to have it just in case if you're gonna do a different race like ETMB in the future. So those are the pants. Next in the list, you have the rain jacket. So I, I picked the new Bonatti because it's definitely like one of the lightest uh, rain jackets you're gonna find in the market is a full seam seal. Get those guys open. There we go. Full seam seal, really durable. And like I have the old version of that and they made now even lighter. I don't know how, super breathable. The fabric is amazing. So that's my pick for the jacket. All right, after the jacket we have the buff or beanie, I picked the wild or buff. It's really good price point. Tick the list and you can also look pretty with some flowers and pineapple. Next, we have the gloves. Uh, Solomon gloves, good price, does the job. You can use your phone if you get in trouble because you're also gonna be carrying your phone. 
If you get lost or need to call someone, you don't need to take care of the gloves. It's called the gloves works. The, the touch uh, screen in the phone it works really well. Next, we have the high V vest, which we don't stock at Wild Earth, but you can find in heaps of stores. It's like a $5 item. We're eventually going to make our own, but that's in the list. I bring everything from the list, so make sure you get your high V vest. Next, you have the headlamp. I have the new 10R. I've been carrying those guys for like three years. It's doing the job. It's amazing. Really strong headlamp. 10 hours rechargeable. Like if you think you're going to get start getting dark at ETA around 5.30, that gives you until, man, 3.30 in the morning. So that does a really good job, really bright. Usually you put the headlamp on when you start struggling and start getting dark, that's when you start getting tired. Good to have something really bright. I definitely recommend. You also have to carry a spare headlamp. So I went with the Black Diamond Spot 350. 350 lumens, that's a spare headlamp. You're probably not gonna use it, but if the good one fail, you have a good red headlamp, the battery does around 40 hours, man, that's a lot. So it should be sweet for don't run in the dark. So what we have next, we have the compass. Um, usually the compass is in our watch. Most of the watch now comes with compass, but if you're doing adventure races and don't have the best watch, go for like a Sunto Global, which you can take to ETMB as well, because the racing Europe, they're gonna do like every counter you need. So that's an um, option for the compass. What we have next? We have, next we have the whistle. Most of the new vests you buy comes with whistle. So you probably won't need to buy one, but what's happened to me, I have a race in Noosa, went to my vest, tried to find my whistle, didn't find the whistle. So lucky my friend had a spare one. So what I recommend, a Easy Fox one, Really cheap, does the job. If you don't have yours, Fox Whistle is probably my recommendation. So after the whistle, space blankets. Space blankets is one of, man, really important items to carry. Usually around the five to $10 range, that, that thing saves your life. You have a lot of areas in UTA. If you go down the valley, it's really cold and have something to save yourself from the cold if you get in trouble, it's pretty, help, pretty helpful. Um, I heard a case of people who struggle, had to ask for help, the blanket saved them, them lives. That's pretty important to carry. All right, next, I probably add a couple of little items. It's not mandatory gear, but it's good to have, like some, um, a uh, blister dressing, in case it's like chafe, if you have problems in your feet, so you put those bad boys and save yourself to run with like a few blisters in your feet. Uh, we also have the bandage. We now we stock a bandage of all the earth. It's a pretty simple item, easy to put in a pack, cheap, light, that's what I recommend. We also have a dry sack. Dry sack, I pick it, see to some, I usually get like a really bright color because when you put in your pack, it's really easy to see the color and like a, you probably go from a two liters or four liters. I try to put all my clothes in a dry sack because um, we always sweat or can be rainy. So you prevent your clothes to get wet. So when, if you eventually need to wear those clothes, like the thermos, the fleece, you're gonna have that dry and good to go. So, see to summer dry sacks, lightweight, two liters or a four liters. Who? Cool. Next, next, one of the most important items, we have the vest. So far, so good. Solomon has one of the best vests in the world. The 12 Advanced Skin. Carry, you can do like easy, the 100K UTA, carry all the mandatory gears. You can do a 100 miler, you can do heaps of race. It's gonna fit everything. The fitting is amazing. The vest doesn't bounce. I'm a size medium. I'm like a skinny runner. But make sure before you buy your vest, try it on. 
go for a little jog around the store or anywhere you're doing, but make sure you get the proper gear. Don't get a, like a slightly bigger because that's going to give you chafe and it's going to be a horrible race. So I'll go with the Solomon 12 and also I'll add a two liters bladder from the same brand. Fits well. Um, Solomon usually comes with an insulator pack inside the pack. So that keeps your water cold. So that's pretty handy when you do a 100k race, you're half in the middle of the day and you want to cold water. That do the job. Cool. What is next? Next, you go for the nutrition. Nutrition is really personal. Make sure you take the nutrition during training so you know what's going to be, going to be good for your stomach. It's not going to make you uh, like cramping or upset. So there's a lot of nutritions out there. There's some nutrition like really natural, vegan, uh, no vegan. That's a lot. So spring is one of the gels you're probably going to find in the marketing. It's definitely, I think it's the only one 100% natural. Tastes like fruit. It's amazing. Price point is slightly more expensive than the other brands, but you're paying for the quality. It's a really good stuff. Cover your calories. Cover the nutrition that you care in the race. And then we also have a few other brands. I've been taking some quarters as well. So I go a couple of springs and one quarter. I go two springs, one quarter, and try to rotate it. And man, another recommendation. Uh, again, you can, you can carry some cliff bars, cliff blocks. And also make sure you top it up your electrolytes. Fix has some good electrolytes. You can get like a uh, sachets just straight in the bottle or you can get the big guys and you can like do small Ziploc bags, carrying your pack or putting your drop off, uh, drop off bags. You're going to have, I think, four or five drop off bags. Make sure you have every, all your nutrition there. So when you come to the checkpoint, you top it up your vest and keep it running. So after the nutrition, we have the map case. Situ Summer has a really good map case. You can, you get, you're gonna get the map from the race directors or the, um, the, the guys, the volunteers on the day before the race. You can use this guy here or you can also use some Ziploc bags. So it's up to you, but make sure you have one so you keep your map dry. And then you have, um, the rain pants, I usually go a really cheap one and lightweight. Rain pants, most of, most of the time, they're not mandatory gear, but if it's rain, you definitely need to carry that. And it's 100% sure you're gonna do the job with those bad boys. Uh, rain bird, my size is medium does the job. If you're not using in the race, you can take fishing or any other raining day activity. Again, we also have the fleece. Fleece is mandatory gear. Usually it's the same as the, uh, the rain pants. They're going to tell you the day before if you need to carry or not. And then that's good to have a good one. North Face has the TKA one quarter zip does a really good job. You can carry that during the race and if you need it or you can use it in the winter. You can like walk around or use it in the races as well. Good option. So I think that's all the mandatory gear. So I also add a little few items which you're probably going to be carrying or not. It's up to you but um, it's going to help you along the 100Ks or the 50Ks. Depends of the weather conditions. Some sunscreen. One stride does a sunscreen specific for runners. If you need to, if you like, you want to prevent yourself from get some burn and stuff. Good option. Skin slick for blisters, chafing. Man, spray everywhere. Does a job. Hold it over like, a, I think it's over eight hours. And it's a waterproof. So you can spray anywhere you need it. Make sure you do before you start the race so you prevent to get the bliss. Because once you get the bliss, it's going to do the job, but it's going to take longer. And then another item, if you want to have soup or get a water in a checkpoint, a collapsible cup, 
really light. Solomon does a good one. It's pretty durable. I'll probably recommend. You have the hats, like if it's a sunny or a protect from rainy, I'll probably say Ciela is a really good brand. Have some Fractus, North Face does hats as well, Solomon, so hats as well. And to finish, usually you're gonna be carrying your phone, you're gonna be carrying headlamp, your watch. You never know, make sure you have everything in 100%, good new set of battery, but if you don't, you can carry a power bank, small, does a full phone or can hold your watch running until you get to the finish line. I think that's all. Um, that's all the gear. I hope you have the best race of your life. Have fun out there and make friends. Thank you.